It's Friday, September the 15th, and here is Aviation Weekly number 10. In this edition, private pilots assist with the relief effort in the wake of hurricanes. Warbirds thrill the crowds at the Goodwood Revival. Skyfront Tailwind UAV sets world record for an endurance flight. And Airways Aviation announces an airline scholarship program for aspiring pilots in Germany. Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and here is this week's roundup of aviation news from high altitude to below 400 feet. Each week I bring you selected stories in the worlds of airlines, flight training, aviation history, drones and UAV. Head over to redspan.com to find out how I can make marketing videos for your aviation business. So chocks away then. It's common knowledge that Hurricanes Harvey, Irma and Jose have caused phenomenal amounts of damage. The immediate need of those who have been affected are the basic essentials needed to sustain life and health. Private pilots have been helping with the relief effort by loading up light aircraft with basic items and delivering them to small regional airfields. These loads include items like bottled water, nappies, toilet paper, dog food, and boxes of high-protein biscuits. Many of these pilots have been able to mobilize themselves more quickly than the large aid agencies. Although their loads are very small compared to the pallets dropped by a C-130, they've been able to deliver their payloads into small airports sooner. Next, once again the annual Goodwood Revival put on an inspiring display of vintage aircraft. Although primarily a motor racing event, the Revival is also well known and loved by fans for the air displays that punctuate the three days. Each morning the proceedings started with a dawn patrol performed by a solo warbird, a Mustang or a Spitfire. Later in the day all heads turned to the sky above this World War II airfield to watch a display by a Curtis P-40 Warhawk, a Supermarine Spitfire Mark 9B, a Corsair FG-10, a P-51D Mustang, Miss Helen, and a P-38 Lightning. On the ground, the Freddie March Spirit of Aviation exhibits included some immaculate examples of restored vintage aircraft. The oldest aircraft on display was a 1931 de Havilland Gypsy Moth, and the newest aeroplane was a 1961 de Havilland Beaver. Check my channel for some footage of these warbirds taxing and taking off in a video with this title. Goodwood Revival 2017 Next, Skyfront, a company that specializes in drones for agriculture and the energy and utility industries, has set a new world record for flight endurance of a multi-rotor. Their tailwind quadcopter UAV flew for a total of 4 hours and 34 minutes. Within a matter of days, they expect to be able to extend this to over 5 hours. UAV that can remain airborne for this amount of time is a significant breakthrough for the commercial drone industry. It will enable companies to carry out inspections, surveys and mapping much more efficiently without the interruptions currently required for battery changes and recharging. The 5 hour flight time is about 10 times longer than most other drones of this type currently on the market. The Tailwind UAV has a modular payload bay and the flight time reduces to 3.5 hours with a 1 kilo payload, but that's still much longer than the competition. Visit skyfront.com to find out more about this pioneering company. And finally this week, Airways Aviation understands that the world needs more airline pilots and that the biggest hurdle to achieving the goal is the financial burden. That's why they have launched a new global scholarship scheme for aspiring pilots in Germany. On November the 16th of this year, applicants will be able to submit an online registration. They will need to confirm that they have had the EASA medical examination and state when they intend to start training. Selected candidates will then be invited to Airways Aviation's UK headquarters in Oxford to sit the compass test. The top scoring candidates will then be able to apply for a scholarship programme with a value of £40,000. Visit airwaysaviation.com for more information. That's all for this edition of Aviation Weekly, so subscribe to my channel for the next and to catch up on any you've missed. 
This was a Redspan Solutions production. Head over to redspan.com to find out how I can make marketing videos for your aviation business.